Have you ever wondered how these detailed looking renders were made? All those wrinkles, pores and veins? Well, I guess normal and displacement maps can do that kind of stuff, but for more higher end realistic awesomeness, you can only achieve this look with sculpting. Sculpting can give even better looking detailed renders compared to modeling by hand via pushing and pulling vertices or relying on bump maps. And with the latest developments in Blender, such as dynamic topology, you now have the ability to model a complete detailed character via sculpting by starting with just a cube. So in this video, let's take a look at how we can sculpt in Blender. First things first, delete everything but the cube. So right click the camera, shift right click the lamp, X, delete. Now select your cube and we're going to go ahead and add a multi-res modifier. Why? Well, sculpting works similar to how you would model via the edit mode. So when you sculpt, you basically push and pull vertices around. So if you're going to go ahead and sculpt this, you don't have enough vertices to play with. You only have eight. So a multi-res modifier is going to give us more vertices to play around with. So to add a multi-res modifier, go into the modifiers panel, add modifier, multi-resolution. And you'll notice that nothing has happened. We still have eight vertices that we can see here. Well, we need to bump up the multi-res. So currently you can see that the multi-res is at zero. So we need to subdivide it to about three. So I'm just going to press subdivide one, two, three times. And now you can see that we have a lot more vertices to work with because it, it has literally subdivided our cube three times and we get three times more vertices than we had before. Note that you can keep pushing this higher and higher and you will get a much more detailed model which will give you much more freedom in sculpting but beware that it will strain your CPU if you go up to a pretty high number. For me it starts to strain beyond four so keep an eye out for that. We can now go ahead and sculpt our cube. To do so change from object mode to sculpt mode. So now we've entered the sculpt mode for our cube. Once you've entered the sculpt mode, you can basically pretty much start sculpting away. So to sculpt, you just basically paint over your objects. You can select brushes by clicking this and choosing any brush that you like. And then you simply just paint wherever you like. So as you keep playing around the sculpt mode, you will realize that you can very quickly and easily sculpt different, different cool looking objects in a very short amount of time compared to having to do it all of this in the edit mode by pushing and pulling individual vertices. So that is the sculpt mode.